Hello everybody, I just want to spend a short period of time running through your first assignment with you. My apologies for not being there to run through it with you personally, but the benefit of this video is it's a resource you can come back to any time. So, this is your first assignment for the year, for Year 12 English T, and it is a creating piece. This can be a piece of writing or an artistic response, as I will talk about later. As it's one of three assignments, this is worth 30%, and the final is due in week six uh, on the Friday. Okay, just one minute to midnight. Okay, it has to be in by then. If it's a minute later than that, if it's on midnight or a minute past midnight or hours after midnight to five points off per day. So please make sure you get it in on time. If you want to submit a draft, I will set up a draft Dropbox for you. That is due the previous Friday. We'll talk about that in class. Now, in terms of the word limit, you're aiming at about uh, 1,000 to 1,200 words for a written piece, plus an additional 600 words on the rationale. Um, so, uh, information about declaration of original work, you know how academic integrity works, you will have spoken about this all throughout year 11. I will leave you to read that in your own time. Now, what I want to do is I want to read a big chunk of this assignment sheet with you. So that means you might find there are sections you want to skip or that aren't particularly useful for you. Feel free to listen at twice speed and come back and check in a little bit later. So. The learning intention, the reason that we're doing this. In class, we've been studying the nature of the graphic novel genre and how it influences the creation of texts. This task is designed to allow you to put your knowledge into action, demonstrating your understanding through whatever piece you choose to create. You'll be able to show how well you understand the graphic novel genre by how effectively your text adheres to the conventions of the genre you've studied. So in terms of the benefit of this is we've connected it to the learning dispositions of Arendelle College in that we're really asking you to seek challenge and take a risk doing something that might be a little bit outside of your comfort zone. We know that when you work through obstacles, you grow. Um, overcoming obstacles or even hitting the obstacles and realizing that certain approaches don't work and trying it differently next time all of these are skills we can use to grow and these become really useful in future life. So because it's a creative response, it's broken into two aspects. The first is the response itself. The second is the rationale, the statement of aims, as I'm going to call it here. Um, so the task itself, you are to create an original short text, whether that's art, poetry, short story, comic or cartoon, play script or film, to demonstrate your understanding of mouse and the graphic novel genre. Your piece must demonstrate understanding of the issues connected to mouse and experiment with text structures or visual literacy features relating to graphic novels. We'll discuss that in further detail in class. Some issues you may choose to approach include representation of core elements of conflict. So what does conflict look like? How does it play out? How is it resolved? Um, candid and unvarnished representations of family and family members. So we remember in, in Mouse, we're getting to know Vladek, um, but Art doesn't really pull any punches. He shows all the things he loves and respects about Vladek, but he also shows all of the less respectable aspects of Vladek's personality as well. So why would he do that? Is that something you yourself could do? Can you replicate that in your own piece? Um, you might look at examination of family dynamics or the long-term impact of conflict within the family or from the family on the individual. You might look at the use of graphic novels techniques for examining serious issues. So you might use your graphic novel writing skills to do a journalistic piece. Uh, we'll talk about that in class. You might be really fascinated by the anthropomorphism of mouse. Why did he use mice and for what purpose? Um, you might like to go into some detail looking into that. Um, your final option that you might choose to look at is the use of comic or the animated format to distance the audience from serious themes, which makes it easier to engage with some pretty full-on concepts 
um, because we're slightly disconnected from the events themselves. Again, this is as per discussions we are having or will be having in class. Now, I would recommend that for the majority of you, you will probably be looking at writing a short story. Um, if you are not doing a short story, um, I would recommend that you are looking at doing a comic. You're making your own graphic novel. Okay. Um, in fact, what I want to do is add in here uh, three pages. Oh, my bad. Um, so if you're doing a comic, aim for about three pages. But I'll show you some exemplars in class so you'll know exactly what kind of thing I'm talking about. Um, so in terms of the statement of aims, your, your rationale, you're writing 400 to 600 words in total spread across these three questions. So question one, how does your creation reflect what we've studied in class? Remember, include quotes and in-text references from Mouse to support your statements. So this is where you say, what I have created connects to Mouse in this particular manner. Here's a quote from Mouse or evidence from Mouse that proves that is the case. All right, the second one is more about your understanding and it's how have you demonstrated an, under, an understanding of graphic novel tropes and patterns in your piece? Now, if you're doing a comic, this is going to be really, really easy because you can talk about your use of sequencing of the art, you can talk about your artistic style, you can talk about the way you've designed your characters, all those kind of things will work really, really easily. And you can make connections to the expectations of graphic novels and your piece. If you're doing a different form of response, it becomes a bit more tricky. So if you want to talk about how your story that you've written demonstrates an understanding of graphic novels, tropes and patterns, you are going to have to identify what is an aspect of graphic novels storytelling structures that I have replicated in my piece. Okay, that's going to be a little bit more tricky to do. Okay, but it's not impossible. It's just a little bit more tricky to do. So I would recommend for most people, you aim with the assumption of doing a graphic novel or a comic, um, unless your artistic skills are like mine and a bird looks a bit like a McDonald's M, in which case you definitely should do a short story. Um, we can talk again in class about that if you need some assistance with it. And finally, question three, in what way has completing this assignment helped you grow in regards to one aspect of the EC learner profiles? Remember, you can click on this link here. It will take you straight through to the learner profiles where you can actually identify what aspect of this profile have you grown in. Okay, and for some of you, it will be seeking challenge. I have taken a risk to um, create a visual response because although I'm a reasonable artist, I've never done art for an assignment before, blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, so you're allowed to use personal pronouns for that one. Remember, really important with your in-text references, use the formatting correctly for a reference. Author, date, page, every time. All right, assessment criteria are listed there, straight from the framework document, and some other little bits and pieces of uh, relevant housekeeping, including uh, substantial attempts at an assignment. Now, you know if you do not make a substantial attempt at an assignment, it counts as a non-submission, which can be feed towards a V grade, which on a 30% assessment is not great. So for the purposes of this task, you need to write a minimum 500 word short story to be considered a substantial attempt at the assignment, a substantial submission. Um, now, if you're doing a comic strip and you need to make a substantial attempt on that, honestly, I would be saying two pages or three pages, but with no color, depending on what you're doing, okay? I need to be able to make a genuine assessment of your skills based on what you submit, which means I would recommend if you're really struggling, 500 words, get it in, 
then it's done. Of course, that connects to this idea of late submissions. You know from year 11, you must submit everything on time. If you're not going to get it in on time, you need to speak to me as soon as possible. Um, remember, you need medical certificates for any extensions or anything like that. Otherwise, if it's submitted one minute past the deadline, I don't have a choice but to take five points off you per day late. OK, or part thereof. So it's really, really important, guys. Please follow through on that one. Um, now, I've put the marking rubric at the bottom here so that you can see exactly what it is that we're assessing you on. If you look at the assessment criteria here, down here, you can see a three, a four, a four, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Those, those show you the connections directly to the framework, how you are being assessed. So in terms of the response itself, there's three key criteria and the statement of aims has three key criteria. So um, your use of techniques and features relevant to the medium. So if you're writing a short story, what techniques and features have you used? Bam. If you're doing comic, what techniques and features have you used? Bam. Um, if you are doing a comic and you draw um, little McDonald M seagulls in the distance, well, I'm sorry, but that's the little to no control of the techniques. I'm, I'm using myself as an example here. I know I'm a terrible artist. I'd totally be getting an E there. All right. Um, does your work connect to the themes or ideas of mouse? OK, fairly straightforward. Um, and an imaginative and create, sorry, original creative vision with distinct purpose. OK, again, have you created something that's um, amazing, that's brand new? It's a clever idea that you've pulled off with some originality. Um, or, have you bitten off to more than you can chew or have you just done what you saw on squid games last year and done it with i don't know animals instead of people like that's really what i would call little evidence of imagination there okay so have a little bit of a think about what you want to do that's going to feed into this criteria in terms of the statement of aims question one is assessed with your the analysis basically your connection to mouse. Questions two and three are reflecting on your own achievement, what you have managed to create, okay, and how you've done it. Then finally, I'm assessing your statement of aims in terms of your spelling, grammar, punctuation, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So get the grammar and everything correct in that SOA, it's really, really important. All right, I'm sure you've got 100 questions, and I'm sure this looks like an enormous task at the moment, but we'll talk over it. You do have quite a bit of time to work on it. It's just starting off week three at the moment. So you'll have three weeks, really, to work the noodle around this one. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Please send me an email if you've got any questions. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in class when I'm no longer in isolation.